Hey yo, what's going on with the game? You mentioned here. Welcome back to more Skylander Spirals Adventure. Well, so we completed the 20th chapter of the game, which was Quicksilver Vault, and this is where we are going to be completing the 21st chapter of the game by saying yes to the Weapons Master. Excellent. Then the Archean Armory awaits you. These caverns hold much of what is left of our once proud civilization. Restore power, and you will find the eternal magic source within. But be warned, Skylander. Restoring power will also awaken the ancient Archean defenses that have lain dormant for thousands of years. Take a robot to find the temple. Okay, this is the grand finale. Well, not the grand finale, but it's the last thing we need to do. Last, it is time. After untold ages of darkness, light. The last thing we need to do before facing off against chaos. All right, hit the switch to open the door. Tech, don't mind if I do. Let's give Trigger Happy some more upgrades. <laughs> There's gonna be a story scroll down here on the slope right. Here he is. Long ago, the evil Archean sorcerer kings who lived within dark cities deep underground met their doom. The free magicians of Skylands combined their strengths to bind the royal city of Arcus in a vault of eternal sleep. All that remains of their decadent empire are their machines, toiling away in the darkness for all eternity. Okay, now we're gonna head on a little bit further to be introduced to Defense Drone, piloted by Control Tower. So basically, if you want to destroy everything, you just destroy the Control Tower, and then everything, everything just immediately goes away. So, no worries there, just look for the control tower, it's going to be very pivotal in upcoming combat sections. There's going to be a lot of combat sections coming up ahead, specifically this one. So again, there's four towers surrounded by, or there's four blasters surrounded by one control tower. So just take out the single control tower, and everything around it just collapses. We still have to deal with the blasters, of course, but they're much less of, an, much less of a problem than everything else that we, that would, like, than all the drones would have had to deal with if we hadn't taken that out. Alright, that opens the monster gate up ahead. And then there's going to be another control tower right here. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of combat coming up ahead. So let's just make a beeline for this control tower so we don't have to deal with the spawners. And then we can worry about all the blasters. Like, so actually, wait, I have a turret. What am I on about? I can just do this. Oh, wait, no, I can't. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We need to, we need to get a good position going. All right, we'll use one on you. Spin it around there. And we leveled up. Which I'm guessing means we took out the one on the bottom right. And we can just use this on you. And they're all... Oh, wait, no, I didn't take out the one. All right, fine. I'll just spam it. There we are. And that opens up the way forward. Okay, you gonna talk to us? The defenses are alerted to your presence. Soon the war machines will awaken. You must activate this one and fight your way to the inner chamber before it is sealed shut and the war machines rise. So we're gonna completely ignore the door right there because that's getting in that thing is gonna be a very interesting section. So we're gonna head up here to the left and at the top we're going to find another defense drone tower and right but more importantly we are going to find a treasure chest next to it so we're going to go ahead and destroy the control tower and uh, and open up the treasure chest okay the last few more upgrades for trigger legendary trigger happy and then once we do that we can uh sure we'll, we'll destroy we're not going to go out of our way to do it, but we'll destroy the our, our, the blasters along our, along the way. Just because, because we can. Eh, there we are. Okay, now that's in here, we can head through the door right here and, and climb aboard the war machine. Fear not, young portal master. I am still with you. 
Follow the commands to control the war machine's powerful weapon systems. Okay, just have to remind myself of the controls really quickly. So basically, what you want is press A to fire, please take out the coppers and incoming energy bolts. So yeah, just shoot, shoot enemies out of the sky, and then punch platforms like uh, that. Okay, I think I did it. So. Technically speaking, this isn't a section you have to worry about too, too much as long as you're very vigilant about what you have to... Ah, these, these are the levels we need to punch out. As, lo as long as you're... Punch it, punch it. There we go. As long as you're vigilant about what you need to take out, as long as you uh, keep keep an eye towards the sky and what things are getting launched at you so that you can shoot them out of the air before they get the chance to get to you, uh, you should be pretty alright. Let's take you out. No, 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 don't, don't get anyone. Okay, we lost, we, lost, we lost a lot of health there. That's... Punch it, punch it, punch it, punch it. Oh, that that's bad. We, we need to try not to lose a whole lot of health here coming up because there's going there's one I remember this section giving me so many problems when I first played through this game this section gave me so I mean technically this 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 initial section is pretty straightforward right you just you you sit in the thing um, the thing takes you to the end and you shoot thing you shoot you shoot and punch things on a guided track right it seems pretty simple but there's a section at the very very end of this or the the, the, the last part of this Hall, the last part of the Halls of Molten Fire is pretty tough, or at least I remember it being very, very challenging. And it's a battle against another war machine. Now, technically, there's nothing more to it than just spamming the attack button until it dies, but I remember it giving me a whole heck of a lot of problems. So, hopefully it doesn't give me all that many problems today, since I am recording two episodes back-to-back, -back, which is not something I normally do for this year. I normally just record one, and then the next day I record the next, and etc. But because, like I said... There's apparent there's an alleged glitch going with the Wii version that I don't really want to test. It's, I'll test it at some point just to see if, it's, if there's any weight to it, but I don't want to test it now for obvious reasons because I don't really feel like replaying through the whole game, especially when we're this close to the end. You can okay, you just spawned right in the frick in front of me. That's that's not that's that's not okay. So I'm I'm just spamming the A button and just I'm continually suppressing fire in, in any direction that I, direction that I can in the hopes that I'll take something. Here. And I think we might be coming up on the. This, this looks like the section, uh, which I battle, and which I, yeah, I think this is definitely the section. I, did I not punch it? I thought I punched it. Or, I mean, I didn't punch it, but I didn't think I was close enough where I needed to. Okay. This is the section, right? This is the section against the war machine? No? Am I wrong? I might be wrong. We're definitely coming up on it, though. It's, I, it, it, I remember standing in the lava for it, so I'm pretty sure. So, oh, you're right there. You were right in the frick factory there. Oh, God. We're just, okay, we're, we're not going to do this first try. This is, this is a real sloppy first run of this. Come on, shoot him out of the sky, shoot him out of the sky. This is a real sloppy first run. This is a real, okay. If, if I get down to half health before we even get to the boss battle, that's, that's gonna be tested. It's gonna be, that, that's, that, that's, I honestly don't even, if I get to the half health before we get to the boss, that I don't even deserve to, to win at that point because of how terribly I, I will have done. So, and I, I, I might be able to, I, I mean, again, I don't remember how hard the boss is, but I, this section is certainly as annoying as I remember. Up until this point, it's, it's certainly as annoying as I remember it being. So we'll see. We'll see how things progress from here on out. I'm gonna take you out. No, I can't. I definitely can't. I definitely can't. I don't. Okay. Cool. M great. Uh, okay. We're gonna we're gonna take damage here. We're definitely gonna take damage here because I can't. The, the the oh here it is. Here it is. So I guess my advice is I can just continually spam the attack button and hope that you can kill him before he before he kills you because. His, his punch attack does wait unless I can unless I can counter the punch ah I can counter the punch okay never mind okay so that's what you do when he punches you punch back because then he then that counters the punch attack okay that's what you do to get through that section got it Okay, that was a lot easier than I remember it being. Behold, the eternal magic source. You will find the eternal magic source in the main vault at the center of our temple. In order to unlock the main vault, three switches must be activated in smaller vaults. These vaults will require a security key card. You will find the security key card somewhere in the lower level of our temple. Find it 
and bring it back to the main security panel. Use security guard on panel. Or security card, sorry. Alright, air. No problem there. That rhyme. We'll use a different one. Who do we want to use? We'll use uh, you. Sonic Boom. Okay. The final attempt. Alright, so there's gonna be some defenders in our way. Let here, wait. I can hatch babies, right? I can't hatch babies? Okay. Let, let, let's hatch babies. Hold on, let, let's let's hurry back. Go, 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 go. Uh hatch babies, hatch babies, hatch babies, hatch babies, so that I can combat these guys. I'm hatching babies. Now attack, attack, attack. And they're done. Done diddly done. Didn't even stand a chance against good old Sonic. Oh wait, there's one more. Okay, hold on. I'm just there we go. Two Sonic waves and you're just immediately dead. Okay. Now that's taken care of, I believe there's going to be some more blasters in our path. Yep, there's a lot of blasters along this path. Uh, but once we get through these guys, we should be at the vault. So let's just push through these, push through them as fast as we can. And the vault is up here. Magic, I, are we going to have to switch? We may have to switch. Hold on, let me just see. Now we can use you. I think we're going to. To defend all. The security card in order to activate the control panel. So we need to head down the steps to where the eternal mighty source is being kept. Of course, we're gonna find, or we already know that it is, of course, locked up. The eternal magic source. It is imperative that you now retrieve the security card. There. All right. So we're gonna hit the switch right here to open up the doorway, and then we are going to. Head down the slope to the floor, and it's going to be a treasure chest. The first thing we're going to do is, is get a treasure chest. So it's going to be... Oh, hi. I'm going to move past you. Alright, so it's going to be... We're going to head on to this... Oh, dash! Okay, I somehow managed to, to avoid that. That's cool. Air? No problem. We'll switch back to you. Alright, I believe the treasure chest is going to be hiding up here. Yep, it's right here in the middle. First, first things first, we're going to hatch some babies to deal with anything that gets in our way. And then deal with this control tower and open up the treasure chest. And sure, we'll give them the sonic boom. Why not? I probably shouldn't be giving them sonic boom, but you know what? I, I, didn't, I didn't have the force to change before then, so why not? Anyway, so right here, you'll see that the legendary treasure is hidden behind these rocks. As we know, the only Skylanders capable of breaking through them are Earth Skylanders. So, what do we need to do here? We need to equip an Earth Skylander, because he's the most convenient for me to grab right now. We're going to use... Legendary Bash. So just break through the rocks. And the Legendary Treasure. You go back in the box now. Uh, don't dare the dragon. Actually, no, you have a lot of coins. We need to give them some to you. <laughs> Grab this. Legendary Treasure Fountain, Pandora Weapon Controller, plus 1050 gold. Alright, so now that we've done that, we are going to put Sonic Boom back on. <laughs> Because there's going to be an air gate hiding over here on the right hand side. So let's go head on through. And warp to the Pandoran gift shop. All areas found. Okay. This, the final elemental gate before we face off against Chaos. Obviously we're not facing off against him. We're facing off against him on Tuesday. But still, you know, I feel like there's... This is, this, this is, this is, there's a kind of closure to it. It's, it, it feels feels not. Anyway, if you fall off here, um, then you just walk over to the left, and you're gonna use the teleport to get back up. So try not to fall off. Anyway, that that's this this that was pretty simplistic. Nothing major here. Now what we need to do is we need to move across these three as they come out of the wall, and then rest here as our little rest point. And I believe if, is there anything waiting for us out here? There is. There's a treasure chest waiting for us. Who gets the treasure chest? Uh. Hmm. I say trigger. No, Spyro. It's showtime. 
the last treasure chest before we face off against Chaos. Hopefully, I'm making the right call here. And giving them the Spyro instead, and giving the treasure to Spyro instead of, in instead of Trigger Happy. I think I'm, I think I'm making the right call here. Anyway, we're gonna head back over here to where there's gonna be another series of three platforms we need to dash across. I could have been risky there and made it across, but I didn't really feel like being all that risky. I want to play it safe because I really don't want to fight, fall off. I'd rather wait than have to go back through it all. All right, so we're gonna, ha we are gonna have to do something risky here and bounce out to this. Actually, wait, I should probably change back to. Sonic Boom. No, Whirlwind, because Whirlwind moves faster, and we need a fast skyline for this. And bounce! Made it, just barely made it. Just just, just barely, though. Okay. We made it, don't even worry about it. We gotta bounce our way up here, like so, and this will take us all the way over here. And this is kind of a checkpoint in the sense that if we fall here, we won't have to go do everything again. We'll just have to come back around here, but, you know, still not great all right so let's move across here i'm being real risky in doing this because i know that we now have a sort of checkpoint and we made it across first try okay now we have to wait for this platform to line up along the left hand side like so and then at some point we'll have to here yeah, we'll cross over here right now so that we can wait for this to line up with the one at top right here and then wait for this one to line up with the end where we will find the present with the with a hat inside the wizard hat i believe all hats found you got a hat wizard hat you don't know where the hat now no i do not now let's head back to the teleporter and leave the and leave the pendolin gift shop okay now we can actually focus on getting the eternal magic source, which you know is the whole reason that we are down here and is it going to tell me to switch back to a magic calendar not yet it's not okay but we'll, okay, so we're gonna ignore everything for actually no, we'll take out this we'll take out this control tower now. We'll do that now because it's convenient. And then we will head over here to collect Voodoo Soul Gem. Found a soul gem, new powers available, impervious tripwire. Would you like to preview voodoo? Sure, why not? Okay, we're almost there, guys. We almost have the eternal magic source. Feels feels kind of kind of bittersweet in a way. Alright, so we got to get past this line of blasters, and then we we'll destroy this control tower. We have the security card, so that's all we need. You have found the security card. Now bring it back to the security control panel. I believe we're actually going to be interrupted by an armada of enemies that's going to be waiting for us on the slope. So we're gonna we'll have to take those guys out. But once we do that, we'll be able to put this in the secure. We'll be able to put this card in. And I switch back to map. Probably for the better because I'd rather fight a bunch of enemies with legendary spire than I would with whirlwind. Whirlwind's great, but I prefer fire breathing attacks than rainbow cloud. They, they're cool when you pull off, but the fireballs are a lot more reliable. I dashed the wrong way. Okay, that's gonna you know, bite me square in the middle of the butt. My bum in the middle. Okay. Can I dash? No, I can't dash past you. I can dash past you. I, I could have, but I didn't. Oh, no. Dash, dash away. I can't risk this. Dash, dash. Come on, come on. Take him out from a distance. Uh, cannot risk this. Okay, that's one down. That's one down. Last is what's one down. Come on, two down, two down, two down. Okay. Leveling up. Good. That's exactly what we need. We, need, we needed the health boost. All right. It's going to be an Ultron up there. That's the most dangerous thing here. Wait, did I hit the thing? Oh, no. It's time. Okay, I got it. There's two Ultrons in here. So... Unfortunately, we do need to take both these guys out before we can uh, leave because they're monster gate centric, and I'm trying to bait these things into into trying to hit or not hit them, but just in a way so that they're not going to affect us too much. Can I at least get one of them down? Just just one. I, I only want one. O only one needs to go down. Only one. That's all. That's fine. W one. I, I will be content if, if only one. Just one goes down. That that's fine. It's fine. It's just one. Okay, one's down. And, and one. We we got. Got some health because of that. Dash out of the way. Okay, got it. Uh, dodge the things. And I should be able to take you out, no problem. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're so close. You're so close. You're so close. Don't laser me. Don't laser me. Don't laser me. I refuse to let you laser me. Come on, a few fireballs. And you're done. <sighs> that was, that was, <clears throat> that was rough. All right. Now, head up here to the security panel and put the card in so that we can access the vault. I've succeeded. Now deactivate 
the three switches within the smaller vaults. Three switches. First one's gonna be hiding in here. Two defenders guard it. We're just gonna hit the switch and dash out of the way because I don't really feel like fighting anything anymore. And there's gonna be some blasters in our way. We're just gonna continually dash past them until they until they go down. Again, defenders in here. We're just gonna hit the switch and run. And then there's one more switch for us to hit down in the rocky areas. We're gonna flame dash our way. Unfortunately, these aren't timed. If they were timed, we'd be royally screwed because there's absolutely no way I'd ever be able to. Now, although if they were timed, they, they would have to make it possible. So I guess. It wouldn't be be able to be too upset about it. Anyway, we are almost there. We've almost reached the third and final switch, which will allow us to obtain the Eternal Magic Source. And this time, there is no boss fight against Chaos's minions. It is just get the Magic Source, call it a day. These are now unlocked. You may now retrieve the Eternal Magic Source, the final component of the Core of Light. <laughs> There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the final eternal source that we need to rebuild the core of light, the eternal magic source. As usual, the only thing not done is completion. Don't worry, I'll be getting that on my own time. Portal Master, you have retrieved the final element, the very essence of Skylands, the eternal magic source. The core of light is reborn. What's the matter, Glumshanks? You look, uh, different somehow. <laughs> ah, what the? Are you kidding me? Glumshanks! Master! Glumshanks! Master! Glumshanks! Get us out of here! Full speed ahead! To the outlaws! Ah! My darkness! My beautiful darkness! Well, I'm not beaten yet! We did it! Wowzers, the core of light finally assembled! Now a grateful Skylands thanks me again. And you are welcome. Boom! Ugh, get over yourself. Things don't feel like they're, you know, done yet. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. I see where you're going. That's because we haven't had our date yet. Double boom! No, Callie is right. The Core of Light has saved Skylands from the darkness, but not from the Wrath of Chaos. Whatever weapon or power that he used to destroy the Great Machine before, we should assume that he could probably do it again. It's not over. Hey, Hunt! Sounds like we've got a job to do. We're gonna take the fight to the enemy right where he lives. His home base! Before he can launch a counterattack. The Core of Light has revealed his location in the Outlands. I have the intel report right here. That's it? General Robot, I could positively kiss you. Uh, at ease, soldier. Uh, quite right, uh, of course. <clears throat> now that we know the location of Chaos's fortress, our Skylander can mount a final assault. Yeah, but how do you plan on getting there? 
Why, the core of light, of course. Are you ready to take on the evil chaos and rid Skylands of him once and for all? Yes, but not right now. Okay, I understand. You probably want to build up your strength before going into that evil place. Very wise. Okay. If we ever want to go to the final level, Hugo's right there waiting for us. But before we do that, we have... First off, we have a Wing Sapphire to collect. After we get the Eternal Magic Source, the final Wing Sapphire becomes available for us. So we're going to head down the stairs and rush over to this lock puzzle right here to get the final Wing Sapphire. Not that we really need it, but, you know, just to show you where the last one is. Let's go ahead and get it really quickly. I keep my ideals with me. Wing Perfect score. Pretty easy one. The final wing sapphire is ours. Now, now that that is done, that is everything that we have left to take care of. So all that we have left to do is upgrade our Skylanders. And now we, I could go through and upgrade every single one. We don't have the money to do that. So I'm just going to upgrade as many as I can. So let's start off with Legendary Spyro. What can we get for him? We could get this. In flight, press B to dive bomb. Requires soul gem and crawling catacombs. I don't... Okay, here on. Uh, flame all tracks. Travel farther. I mean, we can get both of them. Okay, so that's that. Let's see what else we can get. Now we must choose a path for you. Flame ball or charging? Uh, feel like charging? Because the fireball already does a lot of damage. But let's, you know what, let's, let's make it do even more damage. We can still get more. A fire shield appears when using the flame ball attack. Flames do extra damage and the middle one explodes. That's pretty good. Let's get that. And there's no way we can get anything else from him. So let's, let's see our new abilities in action. Ooh, that's, that's really good. And yeah, we've, I think I think I made the right choice because this, this isn't really something that I use to attack. It's more something I use to get away and it's pretty good at that so far. So this, this I think was the best call. And I'm going to say right now, I'm not upgrading Double Trouble or Wrecking Ball because it's not worth it. They're, they're just terrible and I'm just not going to use them. But I will upgrade you. May not be able to get much, but we are going to try to upgrade you as much as, basically, I'm going to be upgrading all the Skylanders that I can this episode. So if you don't want to see me upgrading, then consider the episode done here. But if you are interested in it, then stick around. Axe attack does increase damage. Z to summon a magic tripwire that collapses on your enemies. This, I want. I want this. And we can't get anything else for him, so we'll put him back in the box. Basically, I'm, just, I'm just trying to get our, our, armada, our armada as upgraded as we can. Because if you, if you don't know... Skylanders final bosses are notorious for being really really tough and I, I played this through this with my dad one time and we went through the entire box of Skylanders trying to beat So I just want to make sure we're prepared going into this final boss battle What can we get for good old legendary bash uses the roll attack for twice as long deflect so I know I said I was saving up for this But it's now or never it's the final boss so we may as we may as well just do that. Honestly, we're probably got, not even going to end up using most of the Skylanders, but it's better to have them upgraded than to not. All right, next up on the list is. Dang. Also, I'm not upgrading any non-legendary versions of Skylanders. So I'm not upgrading Spyro or Trigger Happy or Chop Chop or. Uh, or bash. I'm just up, I'm, up, I'm upgrading the legendary versions of them because my the way I see it, if I had the legendary version, why would I use the non-legendary version? All right. Hold any control boomerangs in air. 
Proceed to summon two stonefist traps and beneath earth. Again, it's now or never. We have to. We just have. Oh, we can't even get that. That that's tough. Okay. Well, three more things and we'll be fine. So, is there anything in here that we can easily destroy? Like this? No, can't get that. Uh, what can? Is there anything? What about the sheep? Is it, am I stuck? No, I thought I was stuck. Can I destroy the sheep for? No, I can't. I can't destroy the sheep. Is there anything in here that I can easily destroy with some quick with some quick cash? No? Then I guess we're just going to have to consider Dino Ring as upgraded as he's going to get. But like I said, I don't really see myself using these guys a whole lot. I'm just trying to upgrade as many as I can before we go into the final boss. Honestly, if I do use an Earth Skylander, I'd probably use either Prism Break or Legendary Bash. But if we do end up having to fall back on Dino Ring, then we better hope that he's... We better hope that we, we do alright. Alright, next up is, of course... Destiny calls my name What's going through? Everything is like those to escape me Living in the darkest history Every single excuse I've ever made I know that I just gotta learn to throw them away Maybe I can find a way to escape the lies Have I only seen the world with blurry eyes? I found the path to clarity Now I'm feeling alive Maybe, that's a chance. Increased damage, again, all or nothing. Or uh, better this than, better something than nothing, I guess is the appropriate thing to say. Okay, now. What's going on? I gotta guess something I haven't finished yet. Ignore the pain I didn't see, how bad it's got. You, we're definitely gonna be able to get something for. So let's see what we can get. Golden Gun does increase damage. Bounce. This seems worthless. Um, <coughs> I feel like increased damage is just the the is just the best choice here. And then I doubt we'll be able to get anything else, but just in case. Yeah, no. Golden Gun up even longer. Yeah. Okay. So let's review. Spam this. Hold this. Uh, do that, and then do this. Okay. Trigger Happy, I think, is pretty well set for life. So now, move on to the Undead Skylanders. Damn, what's going on? I gotta guess. I'm a bit different from the rest. And this was all just a test for me. Yeah. Dreaming. I, we have a lot, but I probably not enough to upgrade. Oh, no, we... Uh, I mean, this seems pretty useless, but I guess better to have it than to not. So, okay, so you're immune, but you also lose health over time, so hold on. How bad is this? Let me see. Oh. So, I guess not terrible. Let, let's, let's pick your path. We're not gonna, probably not gonna upgrade you, but just in case. Uh, further develop your ectoplasm abilities, further develop your soul charge attack. I mean, this is pretty trash. Which is, I guess is the reason why- mm, no, Skull Master. Alright, let's see what we can get for Whirlwind. Have three Tempest Clouds active, Tempest Clouds do extra damage. Z to fly. Let's get this. Choose a Tempest Cloud and two Ramels to chain off of it. Mm, I guess we'll just get the ability to fly. So, can I, so if I can have up to three at once, does that mean I can chain multiple times? Here, let, let's see how this works. Let, let's throw one a little bit further ahead, back up. Bounce one. Almost. That It probably would work. I just couldn't do it there. We'll have to wait and see. Alright, next up is... Yeah, that's gonna be a hard no. Next up... Yeah. 
Definitely gonna be able to get something for you. Just need to fly. Have three babies active at once. Mm. I feel like the, the babies have been pretty good at helping us out here. And then, can we get something else for you? Yes, we can. And again, we may as well choose your next path. Griffin babies, roar attack. I mean, the, the babies are just so good. So I guess... The babies are good, right? So I, I guess upgrade that. And they're not even gonna bother with life, right? Let's go on to the last My mind plays back from the silver line. My heart's in the sky. Of the darkest night. To get so we run to a Good old stealth elf. Scarecrows last longer and take more damage to destroy. I mean, yeah, sure. And then what's your next path? Blade attacks? No. Just no. The, the Scarecrow, really? Look, it's bad, I get it, but I, I'd i rather have stronger blades than to have the Scarecrow actually do... No. I doubt we'll get anything, but again, let's check just to be on the safe side. No. That's AA for hold B for poison spores. A hold Z for blade fury. Blade attack is even more increased damage with this. Oof. Oh, if you know what? Uh I really want those. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna head over to the tr to the mega treasure that I introduced you guys to last time. Just because I want um that. I once escaped Gilgren all the treasure, that would not have been a fun time. Okay, well that, that should be enough to get stealth on at least something. So let's go see how this goes. Alright, come on. Give me give me something good. What do you got? Not enough for that, but we'll go for this. Because we did give Gilbrun a few extra gems there accidentally, we'll see what we can get. Who's gonna beat that? Yeah, nothing. Okay. So that is going to do it for this episode of Skylander Spyro's Adventure. We have now upgraded every single Skylander as much as we possibly can going into the final boss battle. So. I would like to thank you all for watching. See you for the next episode. And until then, it's been a game event. So, you're signing off. Saying, hope you have a fantastic, wonderful day. And I will catch you next time for some more Skylander Spires Adventure. Goodbye.